Hi, welcome to my video blog here at ChallengeCopenhagen.com. Uh, I'm Tor Bjornsson Bali, and uh, some of you might know me. I'm double ITU World Champion, and I finished on the podium in Hawaii in 2007. Uh, unfortunately, I had to stop my career last year, uh, but that doesn't, doesn't mean that I'm leaving the sport. Um, I've decided to help out the, the Challenge Copenhagen organization to make the best race for you on August 15, 2010. And, uh, and also to offer some advice for you in your preparations. Uh, and this is what this video blog is going to be about. Um, so in the next 12 weeks, hopefully I'll get around uh, a few different things for you uh, that you can use and as an inspiration and as in good information um, in your journey towards your finish on the August 15th. Um, first thing for me in, in, in doing an, an Ironman distance race and committing to a challenge like this is, uh, is understanding that preparation is everything. Uh, what you do in the next 12 weeks will pretty much determine whether you will have a, a good, successful experience uh, participating in the race or whether you're going to have a big, a struggle, a struggle some time. Uh, and I say usually that the more you get into it, the more you get out. Um, so this is a time to really focus. Focus in on your training, your nutrition, and everything that, that pertains to the race. Uh, that's what's important now. Uh, and you really need to you know, really take these 12 weeks. You might have had a, some rough times coming into this, uh, training good sometimes, training bad other times, but it's important now that you commit to your schedule, that you really make sure you get every detail and every session and, and everything done the way it's supposed to be done. Um, because that, that's really gonna pay off uh, in August. The second thing I'm gonna talk about is that it's time to bring your, your training into a more specific uh, preparation. Um, Ironman is a very long event, it's between 8 and 17 hours, so obviously you need a lot of endurance. That's what it's all about. Um, so this is a time where you need to put in the miles. You need to do some over distance sessions, and you need to do some sessions that are very close to the race pace you're going to perform at um, in the race. Um, other than that, you need to dial in your nutrition, you need to sort out your race nutrition and practice that over and over again. so you're perfectly sure about what to eat, what to drink, and that can keep you fueled throughout the, throughout the day. Uh, you also need to attend your equipment and make sure that everything is up and running. This is a good time to do it. It's not a good time to do it one week before the race. So make sure you get all that set up. Um, and again, the third thing uh, that I want to talk about in the end here is this, your family and your friends. Uh, because in the next 12 weeks you're going to be absorbed in doing all the sessions you need to do and you're going to be tired and, and you're going to be wasted at times and it's important that you bring them in so you can support your efforts uh, to do so and, and, and really be there for you now. Of course you still need to, to put in uh, time in the calendar for them and make sure you can give something back in these weeks but also take care of that after the race uh, that you have a good long vacation together where you can really pay back for, for everything they've done for you in these next couple of months. Um, I used to say that Ironman is, is about a journey and uh, taking part in, part in Challenge Copenhagen will be a big journey for you. Uh, I've always seen it like there's not just one winner, there's 2,000 because for each participant who crosses that line it's been a, a journey into themselves and out and through the world and, and, and they're growing tremendously as a person and usually you can see that when you see the finish line. So that's going to be what I'm leaving with you now and, and uh, hopefully you can take that with you and I'm going to be back uh, with more information on details such as bike training and run training and your nutrition side of things and, and, and everything related to the course and a lot of other things. So uh, I hope you'll tune in from now uh, from, from time to time and, and uh, make sure you check out these blogs. Take care and have happy training. Yeah,